for this week again uh, for the regional we have regional trading idea so for this week we highlight the uh, benchmark index FTSE Asian 40 index followed by 12 trading idea from Malaysia Indonesia Philippines Singapore Thailand and Vietnam so for FTSE Asian 40 index um, earlier expectation has not pan out um, following what we call a subsequent uh, subset, sorry, consecutive uh, gap down that occur um, we expecting a pullback was quite minimum, but the pullback has in that turned into much more larger correction move. But as you can see, for the past few days, the trading, sorry, the price action has start to, um, I would say, uh, softening. So that means the selling pressure has start to ease forward. Uh, meanwhile, we think there's a new uh, support within at sixty one point eight over here, and this is actually the new uh, revised support level between nine uh, nine eight. Uh, and 9950 so this level is going to consider as a key uh, support for now so we think um, the downside could be kept uh, and there could be a so-called reversal uh, move uh, in the near term so however we have not seen the the reversal yet but we think there's decent chance for the reversal to occur uh, banking on the what we call a solid support within the Ichimoku cloud here all right the next system will be at 10,280 and 10,500 now moving into Malaysia trading idea, we have two, Alliance Bank and Muhibah Engineering. Alliance Bank, one reason why we highlight because the stock has formed kind of like rounding bottom pattern and the stock has uh, pretty much built a new high low structure along the 50 day moving average afterward. So last Friday again on the back a pickup of overall momentum signal that uh, the, the ongoing uptrend set to continue. Given the risk uh, and reward is quite uh, decent, uh, with your risk about 3%, upside about 11%, so we think there's decent chance for the stock to trade higher as we put our technical target at 3.57 and 3.84. For Kwansai, we're using value style with a scoring of 7.8. For Muhibah uh, Engineering, the ongoing uptrend set to accelerate further following a gap up move placed back in November. So this gap up move has created a new, uh, I would say, stronger uptrend move. As you can see here, the the change into uh, what we call that um, <clears throat> the degree of chain of the uh, trend has been much more higher uh, for the ongoing up move so the new high low structure along 50 day moving average tell you that the uh, possibility for the ongoing uptrend to accelerate further uptick uh, in RSI positive reading in both higher trading volume signal that the stock has decent chance to go up further so risk to work ratio is quite uh, decent with a 8% downside risk and 20% uh, potential reward so uh, we're using quantity of momentum with quantity scoring of 7.5 um now moving on indonesia in those such uh consolidation within so-called uh cup handle pattern uh, has ended following a breakout move above ichimoku cloud we put our next target at 11,100 with the quant style of momentum and scoring 8.6 for second stock will be Pertamina uh, Geothermal Energy, also a similar pattern um, but this yet a breakout move but upon breakout uh, at 1345 we think there's a decent chance for the new up cycle to begin with the next technical target at 1688 initial rupiah, Quan star is quality with the Quan scoring at 5.4. Philippines, we like BPI, Bank of Philippine Island, um, solid breakout move above the downtrend channel, a new high low structure was in place, we seen a new high high structure as well, um, a successive rebound within 20 day moving average, momentum is improving, trading volume improving, uptrend set to continue, risk to reward ratio is quite attractive between 7 to 20%, 7 to 7% downside, 20% upside, um, with the risk to reward ratio of 2.62, uh, we're using one side of quality, one scoring 8.4. Then we have a PLDT uh, incorporated, um, a little bit slow, but you can tell that the new uh, baseline was formed above the 200 day moving average, turning the overall trend is back to bullish after uh, trading below those level for the past uh, 12 months. So this is considered a decent move. Um, the uptrend set to be more gradual, but we think uh, it's actually gradually pointing upward there. So Kwanstar is quality, it is scoring 6.5. We put our technical target at 1385 and 1515 uh, Philippine uh, peso. For Singapore, we like CVMAC. Uh, CVMAC uh, I think parliamentary we have a rating by. Um, for Quanstar now we're using momentum. One reason why momentum because you can tell that momentum is still pretty much uh, intact. Overall still elevated, uptrend still uh, intact within the 100 day move average. The recent uh, correction was kept within 61.5 level 
as you can see the new hilo structure was in place so we're expecting uh uptrend to continue soon with the next technical target put at 83 cent at 91 and a half cent uh while the cutlass will be 70 cent below so then another one will be riverstone so riverstone quite interestingly we have a solid breakout move much earlier and the subsequent co uh, correction has pretty much ended right within the major resistance turn into support over here um, the stock also bouncing off the 100 day moving average, keeping the arm trend uh, pretty much intact. While the uh, recent last week uh, uh, breakout move is actually tell you that the current up cycle is set to continue. Once starting momentum with the scoring at quite high at 8.25, we're expecting the uptrend to continue as we put a technical target at 77 and 86 cent, while the color below 64 cent. Thailand, uh, we have Airwar Airwan Group. Um, downtrend channel about to break uh, and we think there's decent chance for the upper breakout soon one because we have seen a timely uh, reversal move in 61.8 Fibonacci level over here and we're expecting the ongoing downtrend to end that momentum start to turn much more positive if we put our technical target at 5.7 at 6.25 tire bar where the cut loss below 4.64 one side momentum reading uh, the score will be 7.95 and then we have RNB's food supply, um, also momentum scoring with the scoring about uh, quite high at 9.45. And you can tell the uptrend still pretty much intact. The solid breakout move above 200. Uh, we ever saw the stock pretty much build a new baseline above that. So this critical resistance turned into key support level. We seen a rebound last week, so we're expecting a follow through in the near term. Risk to what ratio is quite decent. We put our technical target at 14.2 and 15.4 tie bar. Uh, last will be Vietnam, Petro Vietnam transportation and uh, Pan Group for transportation. We see a consolidation over here, but uptrend is still pretty much intact. So we're expecting the uptrend to continue with the technical target put at 27,000 and 28,000 Vietnam dollar. Once time momentum uh, scoring 7.7. .7. Last will be Pan Group. Pan Group, uh, we seen a fresh breakout move for 200 mobile average. A new high level structure was being formed. Um, higher trading volume and we expecting the uptrend to continue. A technical target at 21,000 and 23,000 billion dollar cut loss below 19,800. Constar is grow with the scoring at 0.1.